So the Ball Hall Racer Mini Bike did 41 miles per hour with a Predator 212 Hemi, um, a Cooney Carb header pipe, and the governor removed. And it did 41 miles per hour last time around. But I was wondering, to make it go faster, if this Tillerson cam out of the 212 Tillerson E has more lift and duration than the uh, stock Predator Hemi cam, I'm not sure. I read about it online. Some people say it does. Some people say it doesn't. So I was wondering if this cam is any different than the Predator 212 Hemi cam. So there's one way to find out is I'll slap this cam in there and then we'll see if it breaks 41 miles per hour. I'm also going to throw some 22 pound springs in there for good measure just to make sure there's no uh, uh, valve float. Alrighty then, let's drain the oil on this beast. Alright, good pull this clutch off. I think I'm about to pull the chain off. Let me see. Maybe. Oh, cool. Didn't have to pull the chain off. Alrighty, let's pull the side cover off. Should be an easy enough swap. Probably pull the valve cover and redo the uh, lash. That's okay. There we go. All right, I might as well pull this valve cover off too because I gotta reset the lash on these things. Hey. All right, there's that. While I'm in here, I might as well throw some uh, 22 pound springs on it too. That way there won't be any chance of a uh, valve float. Pull this cam out of this beast. Hopefully, there we go. Let me pull this pipe off and get it out of my way too. All right, there's that. All these lash caps. There's that one. Let's pull these things from the lash caps. Let me go ahead and fill this. Fill this combustion chamber with string. And that way the. Uh, that way the. Uh, Valves won't fall back down into the uh, cylinder. All right, let's fill this beast. Now let's pop these beasts off of here. There's that one. And these springs are thin. I mean, it's no wonder this thing can only do 41 miles per hour. I mean, just the springs alone, it's probably floating the valve. This other one off of here. There's that a one. Alrighty then. You can see a little bit of a difference in these springs. You can see the coils are a little bit thicker on the 22, and it's a speck taller. The 22 pound spring. Yeah, these ones are really. These uh, Predator Hemi springs are super thin. Let's pop one of these 22 pound beasts back on here. Hopefully it'll pop in there easy. We'll see. Alright, there's that one. It's nice that these both have uh, lash caps on these hemis. The lash cap right on this beast. That. Alright, let's see if I can pop this other one on there. Hopefully, just as easy, we'll see. that so there we go 22 pound springs from the hemi okay so here's the uh the tillison cam you definitely can see a difference in it i tell you that because uh if you look at the cam lobes the one the cam lobes on the tilly are a lot uh thinner look how wide the cam lobes are on this uh on this uh hemi predator on this on the right and then the tillison cam on the left the lobes are a lot uh, narrower on the um, on the Tilly. Some people say this one has more uh, lift and duration than the uh, stock Predator, so we'll find out. All right, let's pop this beast back in here. 
the Tillerson version of it. There we go. All right, so there we go. Get that beast lined up. Now I guess we'll go ahead and pop this side cover back on. What's cool about it too, I already have the governor out of this engine, which is nice. All the internal governors removed. The only thing is I need a built rod actually to really turn hard. So gotta kind of be careful with it. Button this part up and then go ahead and put the um, push rods and the uh, set the uh, lash and we're good to go. Alrighty. While I'm down here, I might as well pop this clutch back on. It'd be cool if I could get it on without even having to take the uh, chain off. Go ahead and pop this bolt back in. All right. So there's that. Now let's go ahead and then uh, install these push rods and set the lash, and we should be good to go. Test her out. Oh, I'll actually put oil on it too. That probably helped. Now we'll set these beasts at about three and we shall see. All right, there's three. Let me see if I can get a... Uh... If I can't get a four in there, then I'm good. So I'll test a four. I usually, put a, I usually set it a three and then if I can't get a four in there, then I know that we're good. And then, so there's that one at three. Four won't fit, but a three will, so we're all right. All right, there we go. So there's that. Throw this valve cover back on here and we should be all right. All right. All right, so we're gonna put the pipe back on this beast. All right, so there's that. Pop the plug back in this thing. Let's dump some oil in it, and we should be all right. Like I always say, if it doesn't run, as long as it looks pretty, we're good. Got her all buttoned up with the uh, Tillerson cam and the 22 pound spring. Let's see if it'll beat 41 miles per hour. Got a good sign, fired up. Top speed run, Predator Hemi with the Tillerson Hemi stock cam and 22 pound springs. It feels faster, but we'll see. It felt like it had more top speed. Oh yeah. As a matter of fact, this thing's actually faster than the Tillerson was. This thing did 50 miles per hour. The Tillerson did 49. So that cam definitely made a difference. That and the 22 pound springs woke this thing up. That's kind of a, that's kind of a surprise, man, to me, actually. The factory stock Tillerson 
Hemi cam in the Predator Hemi made a big difference. It actually had, it actually feels a lot more torquey, which is surprising. It was actually surprisingly torquey, and it actually beat the Tilly at top speed. I mean, they were pretty much the same. The Tilly did 49 point something, and the uh, Predator did 50. So uh, this was actually a surprising one for me. I can't even believe that that cam made that big of a difference. So just a stock Tillerson cam, a 212E cam, and 22 pound springs, and a Harper Freight Predator, and this thing matches the speed. So that, that's a that's a surprising uh, comparison right there, but uh, definitely will help. So if you have, if you know anybody with a uh, if you know anybody with a Tilly cam, it's worth popping them in here. It's worth popping it in a Predator. I tell you that. Just throw some 22 pound springs on it, and it'll wake it up for sure.